Greetings, and welcome to Magic with Tamala Farron. Tonight we're going to do a reading, three card reading, and I'm going to use the Wicked deck. It's absolutely beautiful deck. I've told this story before, I'm sure, but the first one that I was given, I used to the point of no return. That poor thing keeled over. And I went into a little store that no longer exists. And in the back, in the counter, in behind everything else was one left. And it was actually uh, not the original deck that came out, but a modernized deck where it was nicely done. The original was more of a cardboard deck, but it was really pretty. It was nice. And this one was laminated and had a beautiful on the back. And it was just a little bit better done. But it's the only time I've ever seen either deck. So I was very, very happy. And of course, I got it, and I was very, very happy. So now my other deck is still, sadly, in a little pile somewhere in my, my office, sitting there going, I'm still here. Just barely, but still there. Okay, the first card is Insight, and it's Crystal Ball. And what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, is that as things come to term for you, you're seeing a bigger picture now. And this bigger picture is enveloping you in such a way that you are literally seeing what you've done, and now how you need to fix it. This is giving you enough clarity that you're realizing what a mistake or, oh, that's kind of a harsh word. The choice that you made needs to be rectified. I don't know if it had to do with a job. Um, perhaps a choice with friends. Um, but you're realizing how you did it is wrong. And you have to Take the clarity of this. Learn the lesson that you've proceeded to teach yourself or give yourself so that you can reestablish what you need to do. It's a transition that, that you've been working towards for the last month. And you need to fix this to move forward. It's kind of like all of life's lessons. You have to work through it. Otherwise, you're going to be repeating it continuously until you do. So it's given you the insight. You're seeing this as much as you're trying to fight it. You're seeing this. You need to work from that. Now the second card is Owl. And it's Wisdom Keeper. And that tells me this works with this one, that once you've learned the lesson and you've moved into the next process, the wisdom that you seek 
to gain the knowledge of whatever path you're going through will step in front of you and you will gather it. This is straight and narrow along the path you're taking along with your spiritual and it's guiding you so that you have many new things in front of you and many new process to to work from that it's literally allowing you to become the person you've wanted to be. This is giving you the ability, but first you have to do this to get this. Your process of learning, it works through in such a way that every lesson connects to another. It's what life is all about. You learn how to do things that you never thought you would or could. And it really establishes a connection to all that is around you. This is showing you, I don't know if you can see this, the keyhole, okay? The first card is the key. This, that goes in here, and then you open up the wisdom. And it's very, very simple. The third is the lady. And this brings forth the balance that nature has to offer, that the goddess implements within our very being, within our souls, within our lives. So this connection with this lady is going to bring forth what you thought was a simple path, good luck. This is going to be a very strong hold and a gaining of such answers that you've been seeking for so long. And it all stems from progressing through this lesson, moving forward, and getting your life back on track. This is so important for you. Spirituality is a gift. It is something that is instilled in all aspects of life. And for us to open up to it and learn from it and progress on to another level of consciousness we have to move forward, moving backwards, sidestepping it, jumping over lessons doesn't get us there. So one of the things that you need to do is to focus in on these different steps that need to be taken at this time. The owl I think will start to come into play as soon as the the first card is dealt with. That process, the owl will come into play. This will come into play shortly after this one takes hold. So you're looking at the next six to 12 months you're gonna have a totally new prospect on your life. A totally new emphasis on everything that you hold dear. And you will be a lot happier in that process. 
things that you thought were going to bring you a freedom of joy and desires fulfilled are not what's going to set you on your path. What you know to be true, what you know to be real, needs to be found again. You need to look deep within yourself and discover the real connection that will lead you into the aspect that you desire. And that will give you everything that you need to work along your journey. Now, I'm going to very quickly pull a card from Shadows of Light and see key. Hmm. Hmm. Things happen for a reason, do they not? Sometimes it's as simple as to let you know that you are stronger than you thought. That you have the ability to be more than what you thought. And sometimes we cut things out in the process, not realizing they're the rock that holds it all together. And it can be from creativity, it can be the essence of connecting to nature, it can be family or friends, we take a part of ourselves sometimes and misplace it and down the road realize that was a very sacred part of who we are and that if it is a connection to nature or a connection to another person, that connection needs to be reestablished. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull another one for that. See what goes with that. Okay. Now the first one is Faceless Ghosts and the haunted girl, ghost people. The second one is storm angel, collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. This says that what you're facing has connected you on new levels that you weren't expecting. It means that you are systematically working not only with the spirit world, but they are assisting you back. They are helping you on your guided journey as well. Now, this is a person that you're connected to. This is a person that you thought you had nothing in common with. And at the same time, everything in common with. But weren't sure where they were in your life anymore. So you let them take a step back. Or you, st you, or you took a step back. You've been confronted by spirits in the last two months at least. You've had things drop, doors open, all sorts of little, you've heard voices, you've heard 
walking you've heard, it's all established in the last couple of months. These are spirits that are trying to guide you back to this person. This person is not only a rock in your life for guidance and help and love, but this person is systematically connected to you on a spiritual level. I don't know if it's a member of your family or if it is a longtime friend, but this person has been around with you for a long time. And these spirits are trying to tell you something, but you need to listen. You need to focus and you need to listen, not push them aside, not run from them. You need to listen. They will help you. They will guide you. And you need to deal with this person that you find you're more connected to than you thought. So I'm hoping that you allow this to work through for you. You take the lesson for what it is. You work through it. You guide yourself into the next steps of your journey. And I hope that it all works out for you. Because systematically, I think you've got this. I think you have the ability to move forward. Even though you think everything is crumbling around you, it's just showing you that you're on the wrong journey and you need to fix things so that you can take the right one. I wish you the very best. Blessed full moon, everyone. Take care of yourself and let your magic walk around you, surround you and fill you with peace, love, health and happiness. I hope you have a wonderful night. Please click like and subscribe. And don't forget to come back tomorrow for the pendulum board. Talk to you later. Blessed be.